well now back to that developing news out of Saudi Daisy this afternoon. We just learned three hikers are safe. They were first reported missing last night. Let's get right to Channel 3's Michelle Heron. She joins us live from Big Saudi Creek Gulf. And Michelle, glad the hikers are okay, but this search seemed to have come as a surprise to them. Tell us about that. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Latrice. Yes, definitely a happy ending to this story. Those hikers uh, contacted the, the rescuers and some family members here within the last 30 minutes or so and said that they were okay. And they actually just left here a couple of minutes ago. I got to catch up with them. Uh, but what happened was they were missing for about 12 hours, 11 to 12 hours. Uh, they went rock climbing, came here in this area. I'm told they're avid rock climbers. And uh, I got to peek inside the back of their uh, SUV there. They had a ton of rock climbing equipment. And I'm also told that they are, are familiar with this area. And uh, and so last night when they didn't come home, one of the wives of, of one of those uh, one of those men that was missing um, called called for help, said that they never came home. And so that's when the search started. Now, crews weren't able to get on the ground out here because it was just so dark and there were uh, some heavy storms in this area last night. And so that is what made it tough. Uh, they weren't even allowed to really get a head start until sunlight uh, this morning around eight o'clock or so this morning, so they did they did contact family. They didn't even know Latrice that folks were looking for him. And so we were uh, I walked up on him as they met the rescuers here and they said they told me a little bit about what they did overnight. We had metal um, Nalgene bottles, so we boiled water We had a fire out there. So as you heard right then and there, they had these special types of bottles that they were able to boil some water. They knew, uh, they told me that they ran out of daylight, and so they knew right then and there that they needed to stay put. And so they knew enough to, uh, to uh, enough about the outdoors to build a campfire, boil some water. And so they were okay during the overnight hours. And then as soon as the sun came up, they were able to find the trail and get back to, to some cell phone service and call their family, let them know they were okay, and also uh, kind of get out of the woods. And so definitely a happy, ending here. One other thing that made this search critical is that one of the folks that were missing, it was a total of three, uh, three rock climbers. One of them was a, er, is a diabetic and so crews weren't sure if, uh, if the diabetic had their medication because it has to be refrigerated. So that also kind of just upped the ante here, but definitely a good ending to this story. The three hikers, uh, rock climbers and hikers have been found and they are okay and they've now left and I guess they're, they're headed home. For now, reporting live out of Saudi Daisy, I'm Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.